Holler if you hear me, and welcome to uh, this edition of Luke Flips, because, well, speaking of flipping, it looks like the whole script of Asmongold being a guy that was going to be all about the truth, all about speaking truth to power when it comes to what's going on in gaming with people that live to make sure that any kind of free expression in your opinions on games or anything to do with gaming that does go that does not capitulate to whatever the mainstream wants you to think or say about one game or another well it turns out now because he made a statement about how he does not care about a political topic that involves all these uppity white people from their gated communities trying to preach about what's going on all the way across the world and their only source of information are Stephen Colbert or Jimmy Kimmel monologues. Somehow those are the people that now are going to getting to go and be the judge on what a guy with, you know, million plus YouTube subscribers alone, not to mention everything going on there over at Twitch. Now suddenly, guess what he's doing? Ever backing down. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Because you know ever noticed why when it comes to anybody on the far left, how it's never an individual cause, how they always confess through project when it comes to saying anybody on the right follows false idols while they are the people that want to go and screech about podcasts or YouTube channels that are more popular than their dying mainstream media outlets and why they get so angry about when uh, your Seth Meyers or your Stephen Colbert's or your Jimmy Kimmel's all get outdrawn, outsold, and outviewed by Joe Rogan or Stephen Crowder and they actually run their own business, take care of doing what they can to be um, proof uh, from any sort of demonetization and and now you look at Asmongold, and well, it turns out a guy like that who, in general, you should have always noticed that he really was not a guy like that. He was not really going out there speaking truth to power. He was just a guy talking about games from a dirty, dirty bedroom in a way that was something that was not algorithmically dangerous. So they propped him up and he got built up. But remember, look at his rise to success. And was he really ever going out there and really doing anything that wasn't something that looked safe? something that looked secure, something that looked like, oh, wait, here's a guy that I really know is the kind of guy that's going to speak up for himself. He's out there. He's aimed, He's dangerous. He's no hard man. No, 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 no. He's not. It's more like he was just a guy jumping onto a scene and whatever it is he has to say is built on whatever it is that's going to lead to more sharing and liking and subscribing as opposed to whatever it is he's really speaking from the heart or from the mind. In case you're wondering why these social justice vipers, the cancel pigs, are always interested in making sure you live by false idols who can't even go to a Catholic dinner in New York City without not showing up and doing a pre-recorded little appearance because everything in their life is rehearsed and canned and protected. And even then, and they go on any controlled opposition, they automatically have to go and already show up late and try to talk down to the guy who was there and ready to go, but you were the egomaniac that can't come to the dinner on time, that can't even show up for the interview on time. And then you're gonna go and have some kind of advantage over any kind of workhorse that is there actually saying what they think and thinking what they say day in, day out, day in, day out. But they're the ones that get demonized. They're the ones that have to go and fight, fight, fight to make sure that whatever it is they say and their actual honest to God interested followers and what they want to say and what they want to think and what they want to feel get repressed and repressed and repressed so much that you could swear it was the story of a French Disney animator facing a 20 year sentence for assaulting, assaulting over a thousand children remotely. But remember, this is all just plenty of other things that you're not going to hear from Jimmy Kimmel Live. You're not even also going to hear it from Asmongold, since what did he do? Because some people online got angry that he's not going to go and say the line that they want to hear about what's going on in the Middle East. His response is to apologize and to capitulate. When anybody that's anybody in this little internet crazy little world knows that you never apologize to these freaks of the week. That these pigs, these vipers, these vermin, what you do is stand up to them and step on them. Like any viper or any vermin, you simply are stronger than them. They see you and they want to destroy you and it takes a swarm of them against you because you threaten them. They are the people to whom amount to nothing when you take away their ability to feel like they matter because they know their lives do not matter. Because uh, those type of commies are just like coyotes. They can never fight one-on-one. -on -one. You ever notice when it comes to situations like storming down and taking down the Romanovs in the 1910s or when it comes to the likes of the uh, Black Friday riots where 1,500 commie demonstrators in Hollywood 
pummeled the ever-loving crap out of almost everybody that was at the Paramount Pictures backlot, and dozens of uh, ambulances were need needed to be called in to haul away the bodies. So the next time you actually believe the revisionist counter-narrative about communist infiltration of Hollywood, that Brian Cranston as Dalton Trumbo was some big badass standing up to Mr. John Wayne, no, they weren't because that scene is built entirely on the lie that any communist asswipe can ever be able to stand against any actual American toe-to-toe, -to -toe, one-on-one. -on -one. They can't. That's why you never see them fighting in an individual case. And when you do see them in an individual case, they need a activist judge in their way, they need a lawyer who has the credibility of a one-armed sword fighter, and they need round-the-clock media reporting on it that is constantly lying and lying and lying and lying about how the, uh, the defendant is the second coming of Satan, even though they're the same people that live to bash any organized religion that is an Islam or socialism. But for their deranged ideology to exist, hypocritically, if you follow that line of logic that they screech, basically what their critical theory requires is that original sin exists and also immaculate conceptions, if you think about some other viewpoints that they also want to convince you about. And don't forget also about how, you know, certain people aren't allowed to have opinions on a subject if they aren't a part of it. But when it comes to the Second Amendment, these people who want know a 44 caliber round from a wristwatch want to go and make sure that they regulate and legislate everything when it comes to the Second Amendment being taken away. And then when you deal with these ass wipes in action, that's where you get Alec Baldwin, who always wants to say whatever is the far left Hollywood talking point, like what Asmund Gold is promising to say nowadays. You look at him and oh yeah, he's on that non-union film production where he has no understanding or respect or training with firearms. So what does he wind up blasting through the chest of a female cinematographer and is not going to get his day in court for it? Yeah, I wonder, wonder, wonder. But remember, look at their actions, and these people's actions, these cancel pigs' reactions, are always, always visible. Just like with the intellectually dishonest content creators who want to tell you about how important they are. But now, these days, when you look at Asmund Gold, he might as well be Gerard the Completionist. And how, look at what they're doing, and everything is about making sure that they get in with the quote-unquote cool kids. But when you look at those ideas of cool kids, you should be able to go and just simply ignore them, or laugh in their face. You should not care about uh, what it is that makes them boo, because take one good look at what makes them cheer, and what makes them cheer is a Jimmy Kimmel monologue. And that's not my opinion. I know I'm right. So I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe so my channel hits 10,000 subs. Don't forget to become a member today and to shop my art store with the second link below where you can buy my art or you can commission me or you can support me directly with a donation in the store or if you want to buy or commission my work but you live outside of America, simply pay as a donation with another donation for international shipping fees. So until then, beelines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.